And what have we got here? This is what we do when we get bored and have spare parts. And <laughs> yeah, this is this is a car we bought as a as a like discarded race car like three or four years ago, and uh, we wanted we wanted to try some of the fun stuff that Holly if I can do, but customers don't really want to do it. Uh, my name is Steve Moberly. And where are you from? Uh, we are from Muhammad, Illinois. So you know we got dual drive by wire throttle bodies, and you know when. So we got we got fabricators with idle hands, so we put them to good work, you know. So what year is this? This is a '73 Mustang. Um, it was originally a 351 Windsor or 351 Cleveland four barrel uh, four barrel nine inch car, you know. Yeah. And uh, and somebody had really badly turned it into a race car, and so we got it for next to nothing, and, uh, and then put a 302 out of an Explorer into it. Uh, it's, a, it's just straight out of a 2001 Explorer. Uh, we put a B-cam in it, of course, and, you know, and then we put it on Holly Dominator EFI. Uh, we still, unfortunately, have the factory C6 in it, um, and so it's sucking a little bit of power, but we got a trans brake C4 or Turbo 400 going in it. So we've got it on Holly Dominator EFI, and that's what runs the dual, uh, the dual drive-by-wire throttle bodies. You know, we've got you know, a lot of people think it's an LS because we got the LS coil packs on it, you know, but it does have the distributor in the front. Uh, it's, we got bullseye turbos on it, you know, it's got twin 65s on it. Um, they're good to about a thousand horsepower, we probably won't get there. Um, but they're nice, they spool like 2800 to, you know, 3200, it's on, right? So, <laughs> so, it's, it's so what kind of power are you making right now, do you know? Right now... We, we haven't got it done. Right now it's hot air. We don't have the air to water hooked up. So it makes about 400 horsepower at the tire, but we've got it way detuned, you know, because we don't have the intercooler hooked up and we just wanted to get down here. Um, the goal is to be about 550. You know, we're gonna really push the limits on the stock block. Uh, but we wanna see what we can do with it straight out of the junkyard. And, you know what I mean? Like. That's awesome, you know, dude. So what, what was the idea for this like Monster Max looking crazy train? You know I mean? It's awesome looking. I'm not exactly sure how it started. I know everybody <laughs> there is a big fan of the movies, especially like the last one. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we wanted to kind of maybe see how viable it was in reality, I guess. Yeah? How does it drive? It drives pretty well. It drives yeah? pretty well. I mean, it's got Viking shocks on the front, um, which is how we got the lift for it. Okay. Um, and we had it going like, you know, 75 on the cruise yesterday. So, really? You know, yeah, so it runs pretty good. <laughs> it went 120 on the dyno, and it didn't have any drama, so, you know. What size tires were on the back? It's got 35 Baja claws on it. That's the same thing on my Raptor. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's kind of wicked. Awesome, man. Yeah. It is wicked. It's so different. <laughs> so tell us about what's Scram Speed. Scram Speed, we're a, we, we do a lot of stuff up there in, in Muhammad. We've got a chassis dyno. We offer tuning. We do, you know, a lot of Mustang stuff, a lot of GM stuff, and Mopar. We're kind of non-denominational. Um, but we have, you know, a full showroom. We have a ton of parts. We're Holly dealers. We ship every day. You know, we're biking dealers and, you know, a bunch of products. Nice. Our website at scramspeed.com. Okay. Um, and, you know, we do only performance installs. Anything performance, we're only performance. We're not just a regular shop that does other stuff. So, you know, we engineer everything. This car is not indicative of the quality of work we do, but I figured people would get the idea. Here, come, come close. Let, let's see the inside. Can you open it up for us? is rough but a lot of it is stuff that's been made to look rough um you know like the wheels are new but we aged them the nice okay your stuff is you know what i mean new but we aged it you know so it's kind of like it's a it's a fat, go fast project and uh an art project kind of if you will all you know? at the same time yeah it's freaking it's cool not even close to done but we're you know we're getting there and it's you know it's better to drive it and and not and not be done than it is to just have it sitting you know No, absolutely. Yeah, I think this thing would be awesome in like a field just ripping some donuts. Right, right. Like I need to see that video. Well, we have a field out back, <laughs> so so probably if people check the website, we will be posting updates on the cars we build it. You know, or on the Facebook and Scram Speed, um, and you probably will get a good video of it throwing some dirt. You know? <laughs> We're gonna put slicks on it, take it down the track. We're gonna do all that stuff with it. So nice. It should, be, it should be. I mean, so far it's just been a blast. You know, so. Well, man, I appreciate you bringing it out here and showing everybody. It's a really cool build. We're looking forward to uh, seeing the continuous project as you further it along. 
I mean, some of the fabrication stuff here, it actually does not hit, guys. It looks like it does, but it does not hit the fenders. <laughs> looks like it melts them a little, but it doesn't hit them. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so it, 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 it gets pretty hot. It gets pretty hot. Really cool.